Hey friends, this is my little garden patch I've been working on. I've just got a handful of tomatoes in here. I think there's 14 plants and maybe 16 different pepper plants. I've got hot ones and green ones and chili peppers, so quite a mixture. Then in fall when I can the tomatoes, I put a little uh, hot peppers in with them and make them a little spicy for making chili. And I put a couple squash plants in back in the corner here if you can see them. So I'm probably going to have vines crawling all over the yard <laughs> which it starts growing. And then I buried an underground soaker hose so in the heat of summer I just connect my garden hose to it and then the uh, plants automatically get water through the root system so it doesn't spray all over the leaves and cause leaf wilt and other problems with the tomatoes. And these are all the tomatoes I started from seeds that I was talking about. Then the pickles and the peppers I purchased from the store or the local farmer's uh, greenhouse here. It takes too long for pepper seeds to sprout. It takes them about 30 days to from uh, longer to sprout and germinate than the tomatoes do. And when I run grow lights to get them started in early spring, it really costs more in electricity than it's cheaper for me just to buy a handful of plants when it comes to the peppers. Oh, and if you're wondering why the screens are up here, they're not here to protect the plants from bugs. <laughs> what I'm actually doing is these end plants were in a bundle of, of plants and they were root bound and I had to kind of separate the roots so they're taking a little transplant shock for the first few days. So I put the screens up and that kind of protects them from the sun and then as the sun cools down I take the screens off and after a few days they'll be good as new and growing real strong. So I'll try this video and see if it works and I'm having a fun trying to figure out all the settings on this new camera. So I hope everybody's having a great day then. We'll talk to you later.